Oh, what's up, everybody? Mr. Nation here. Yeah, just on my way to work again. Well, anyway, I had to be there at like at 10, but well, it's already 9:23. But you know, the traffic is uh, uh, getting getting through downtown Raleigh. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, the gas situation. I mean, they got the bypass line, uh, like uh, Governor Pat McCorkle has promised. Uh, you know, just to have fuel in the state. But, I mean, the gas is still up because uh, there's, like, another problem. There's some kind of tropical storm or hurricane going on. So everyone's, like, evacuating. I mean, it's been raining almost every day. Well, at least yesterday it wasn't raining all day, though. Like, it was Monday. It was probably, it probably rained just for, I don't know, 10 minutes. It didn't stop. And then another crazy thing has been going on. Uh, oh, oops. There's a there's a riot going on in Charlotte. Charlotte is the North Carolina's largest city. Yeah, so the problem was uh, there was a guy who got shot by an officer. Well, the reason why the officer shot him is because, uh, well, he had a gun. He, he was gonna pull a gun and shoot him. It, but everyone's saying that he had a book. I'm like, a book? Like, why would he be carrying a book in his pocket? But the crazy thing is, uh, the guy. The guy who had the gun was a black man, and the officer was another black man. But why is everybody freaking out? I mean, they're all the same race. I don't know. For some reason, they think if any, they think if any black person who's in the police force or anything or don't believe like them, they think they're sellouts. Like sellouts? I was thinking that's stupid. I mean, it's, I mean, we they have a black police chief, and uh, pretty much everything he's saying it was true. So, but this riot was going for the last uh, three days, maybe. So, let me fix the camera. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. So, Governor Pat McCrory has uh, had a phone call from the mayor of Charlotte about the problem there, and uh, he said that he'll send in the North Carolina National Guard. And I got some. There's some guy, a couple guys that worked in my old job who are. Uh, in the reserve, so I'm pretty sure he, they got deployed. Because I, I also saw a video where uh, this one guy is driving on the highway, and there's like a convoy full of uh, Hummers. Yeah, so they're like on their way to the scene. And then, uh, what was the other crazy thing happened? Huh? And then another crazy thing, they're like blocking the highways, so it's not even safe to drive there. Uh, I know a girl who lives in uh, Charlotte, so. I tried to call her, and uh, she couldn't answer, and then, then she called me back uh, probably an hour later, and then, uh, well, she said she, she lived further away, but, like, almost to the suburbs, but she's thinking it might might spread over to the suburban area, and I said to her, well, might as well just come to Raleigh anyway for the weekend until, until it's safe to come back, and I think she said, like, her boss called her up and said that, uh, you know, that they couldn't, they all couldn't go and work that any of those days because it's not even safe. So, what what my lady friend's going to do? She's just going to drive over to Morris Hill. She got some friends over to Morris Hill and just stay there and then we'll probably maybe hang out or something. Yeah, I mean, never in any of these cities I live in there's such a riot. I mean, I mean, it's been. I mean, it's been over. It's been like a year and a half since that ride over in Baltimore. And then, uh, well, actually, there was one over in Milwaukee, believe it or not. And then, I don't know what. Those thing, I mean, this ain't the first time they had riots. Like I was reading about the riots they had in uh, in uh, Detroit, in 1967. Yeah, but that cost cost the city money. It cost them like over millions of dollars. Enough, enough about the rides. Uh, getting some stuff out of my truck. Uh, so anyway, when my truck was in that shop, uh, getting that CV joint, I mean the CV uh, axle shaft replaced. Something else that happened too, like I guess when that, uh, when I, I had the, sh the transfer shift, I mean shift back to the two-wheel drive when the wheels were turned, 
uh, with that hard snap that broke the, you know, the bearing end of the CV boot inside, uh, something else is broke up. The upper the upper uh, ball joint is broken. I mean, this is ridiculous. Like, I, like earlier this year, I replaced the, the upper control arms that had the the ball joints pressed in. So I had to get that replaced. Well, I didn't replace it yet, but the price, like, it's like around three hundred dollars. So I probably had to wait a month to save that up just to get them replaced. So in two, probably in two weeks, if I still have some money left over from rent. And that's why I'll just take the truck to the shop for to get that. Let's see, the pitman arm replaced and then the alignment. So let's see, the, there's alignment for like fifty bucks that last six months. Yeah, because like after the after getting those new uh, troll arms with their ball points, then I had to get alignment again. I didn't get a line this time anyway because it's going to be a little bit more money than what's supposed to be for the shaft because it, it cost two twenty seven. dollars The reason why I was doing this is because, uh, you know, my impact wrench doesn't work anymore. Well, it worked. Uh, they had some impact wrenches in the shop that I used. But uh, my impact wrench uh, doesn't work anymore. The anger saw ran I had. And then the, the air compressor I have doesn't work either. So I'm screwed. And... You know, it would have took me all day. It would have took me like, I don't know, eight hours maybe, just to replace that one shaft. Because it took me all day, almost all day the last time I did it. The reason why it took me all day because I had to use the old shafts to put the core fee, which I don't like. Like, I would just buy the part without the stupid core fee, and then, uh, and then turn in the old shafts after I'm done. I don't know why they don't do it that way. Like, I don't want to do it during. during. Because after I get back, then I had to put put the new ones in again, and, and it's just taking up time. Yeah, so I gotta show you something over in downtown Raleigh. Like, I don't know what's going on with that left lane. It's like always closed, and there's like no construction whatsoever. I, I don't get it. Like, there's cars parked there. Like every time I go through, when I go through here on Saturday or Sunday morning, it's clear. I don't know why the fuck they had this closed. And then it just, you know, just clogs up traffic. That's all it's doing. All right. Oh, I'm back. Oops. Oh, anyway, it's Saturday. Come back to, we're going back to Karaoke night. Well, that's, which is tomorrow. Sorry, uh. And then, uh, well, I mean, there's some songs I was gonna, you know, think of singing anyway. So there's like probably a new one. Well, well, you guys, like, when you see the video, you know, you're in for a treat. So just uh, keep a lookout on that. I mean, with, I mean, with this camera and the new phone, that uh, uh, probably shows, the, you know, the, my music videos a lot better. Yeah. Well, back when we had Dave there as the DJ, well, he had those lights going around and stuff, and it's hard to see, and it's a little dark on that side. So, since we got the other DJs, you know, a little bit brighter. But, I don't know, the bingo host was telling me what happened with this other DJ, Jay. I don't know what happened. Uh, he said something happened to him that he wasn't doing it anymore, and I forgot what it was. But, um, but he probably won't be there tomorrow. And then, so we got this other one, uh, Jennifer, she's the DJ. And then, well, there are some changes over in Champions, like, uh, well, there's this one bartender. Well, actually, she was a blonde one, I met her, but she's a brunette. But. Well, for some reason, well, I haven't seen her since my birthday party, but, but by the time I come back, like, probably a month and a half, then I saw she was gone, and turns out she got fired, and like, I'm thinking, why would she get fired? Like, she was, she was doing such a good job there. And she was working another job at the airport. I mean, that doesn't make any damn sense. Yeah. So anyway, this will be it. I'm, I mean, I'm still over in downtown, like, over in my, I mean, on the right side of me. Like, uh, a couple blocks down is the governor's mansion and then the state capitol building. So anyway, that, that, that'll be all for today. Later.